Welcome back to the PP Zone. This is your host, Mike. You see the title, and you think, for what would you need a 22 rim fire revolver? The answer is either for precision, cheap ammo, and hunting small game. Fact is that 22 is more in than ever. However, while many go for semi autos, one should not forget the advantages of revolvers, especially older old style revolvers. They look cool, they're super reliable, and they're accurate. Need one more? They are so easy to use that even the worst beginner would find it hard to screw something up. Because of their accuracy, they're still preferred for handgunners taking part in competitions. Going after small game, it is self-evident why accuracy is more important than anything else. Let's face it, there's not much target area to go for. That they are proof against screw-ups comes not least from the fact that the action stops after firing. Holstering your revolver now means there is only an empty cartridge in the chamber right now. You can go and recover whatever you shot without being afraid for the safety of your foot. Another positive attribute of revolvers is the barrel, which are often enough longer than that of semi-automatics, giving you a longer sight radius and helping with landing your rounds on target. Granted, thanks to a higher capacity, semis do allow you to blast away more, but when every shot counts, the revolver with its characteristics is the way to go. Having established that revolvers are good for hunting small games, competitions, and thanks to the low price of 22 ammo, also for planking, it is interesting which wheel guns are real must-haves. Which ones stick out of the crowd and deserve a special spot on your list? Let's get to it. Number 3. The H&R Model 999 Sportsman. The H&R Model 999 has been out of production since the H&R plant closed down in 1986. Nevertheless, it has its advantages. Looking a little bit clunky, it does shoot and handle very well. Its cylinder holds 9 rounds, and thanks to the top brake double action, it's fast to reload and fast to fire. Getting it with a 6-inch barrel, it has a weight of 34 ounces. The old version comes with a firing pin mounted on the hammer. 1974, it was redesigned to use a transfer bar. The top brake action does not only help with reloading, when it ejects all spent cases in one move, it also allows to remove the cylinder easily in order to clean it. The sights are broad and easy to acquire. Also, more importantly, they are adjustable. For windage, you adjust the rear sight. For elevation, you use a screw that sits just below the front sight and above the muzzle. This way, if you change your ammo brand or bullet weight, you do not have to get used to a new impact point. For the best accuracy, it is important to test more than one ammo brand. Very fast, you will find the right one to achieve groups of less than 2 inches at 25 yards. Having some experience with this beauty, you will tighten that even further to below 1 inch. The single action trigger pull comes in at a tad over 3 pounds, making it shootable without being too light. Going for double action, you will have to deal with a trigger pull of 11.5 pounds. While not the lightest, it's still manageable. If you go hunting for small game, and the heavy double action trigger is not your thing, no problem, cock the hammer first. Number 2. The Ruger Single 6 Convertible If you have a six-shooter that definitely reminds you of the Wild West, at least with its look, the caliber is a different story if you take into account that you do not only get a capacity to shoot 22 long rifle, but also 22 Winchester Magnum rimfire. This means you get one gun, but two different cartridges to shoot. While both rounds do have a similar caliber, their power level is quite different, so that it does make sense to have this choice. For planking, just go cheap and use 22 long rifle. For hunting, if you need the extra power level, go for the 22 Winchester Magnum Rimfire. It costs a little bit more and is a little bit harder to find, but it also makes a bigger impression on the game you hunt. You get this beauty with either fixed or adjustable sights. The latter is owed to the fact that with rimfire, the point of impact can change quite drastically. Also, many shooters of this gun might be of a particular age when the higher profile makes it just easier to get a good sight picture. There are many different variants available. You can have the single 6, single 7, single 9, and single 10. Some have a blue-wood finish. Others come in stainless steel. Also, you get to choose between different barrel lengths. The price might put you off at an MSRP of $1,089, but you get what you pay for. Super reliable, super safe, super cool looking firearm that can take more than one kind of round. 
If you want to go for accuracy, what is always a good idea, you have to try out different brands of ammo. With a little bit of effort, you can get the right one for groups of less than 2 inches at a distance of 25 yards. Having some experience, you will also be able to get this down to less than 1 inch. What you might miss with this gun is the pleasure of a real single action piece. You will not have to set it to half cock. Instead, it comes with a transfer bar. All you have to do is open the loading gun. Then you can spin the cylinder freely and eject one empty case after another before putting in new rounds one by one. Right as you've seen, it hit hundreds if not thousands of times in your favorite cowboy movies. The good news is that this does not mean you do not have to go with the cowboy load in which you keep the chamber under the hammer empty. Thanks to the transfer bar, it is safe to load around into each one. With the single action comes a smooth trigger with a pull of 2.5 pounds. It's very crisp and absolutely helps with accuracy. Number one, the Smith & Wesson Model 63. The Smith & Wesson Model 63 is a J-frame revolver tracing his ancestry back to the venerable six-shooter Model 34 kit gun. Jammered in 22 long rifle, it is a good plaker. Also, you can use it to train your revolver shooting with it. If your EDC gun is a 38 special revolver, you might find it hard to get enough ammo, while well, there is plenty of 22 long rifle to be bought in bulk. Also, 22 long rifle is cheaper than 38 Special, while the rest of the gun pretty much works in the same way. Even the dimensions are not that different, as the Model 63 is an overall length of 7.3 inches and a weight of 24.8 ounces. While maybe not exactly the same, they are at least in the same ballpark. If you carry revolver is especially lightweight, you can also take the Model 317 made from alloy. It just weighs 11.7 ounces. However, this makes it also a little bit harder to shoot accurately. That means you have to carefully choose if it should be a training gun or a hunting gun. Another upside for planking, but even more for training, is the lower blast and recoil fatigue. While you do not feel the 38 special ammo that much, shooting hundreds of rounds on the range does make itself felt. If precision is what you want, it's a good idea to test different ammo brands. Some of them are just more accurate out of your individual revolver than others, what is in fact normal for most, if not all, guns. Furthermore, the Model 63 comes with adjustable sights. That makes choosing the ammo brand easier, as you can zero the revolver to the particular ammo. The look of the gun is just nice. Being a revolver, there is not much to go wrong here. Okay, some might want to swap out the fiber optic front sights, as they cannot be called classic, no matter from what perspective you look. Coming to the trigger pull, the single action is just a dad under 2 pounds, so nothing to feel unhappy about. At 25 yards, you should be able to get consistent 2-inch groups. Experienced shooters might even get this number below 1 inch. Going for a 22 revolver, there's not much that you can do wrong. With the three guns here, you also get some of the best and finest on the market. They are safe, accurate, tested, and reliable. And they just look gorgeous.